people of the book they don't want and nor those who associate partners with Allah that a good should be sent down upon you from your Lord any good should be sent down to you from your Lord and Allah chooses exclusively for his mercy who he wills and Allah is the owner of great bounty or grace so these uh, people of the book and who mushrikeen who associate partners with Allah they don't want any good that it should be sent down to, to, to you and your people here and what is this good any khair khair actually here they are talking about the risala the prophethood uh, hidayah and the sharia the deen islam because all these golden rules to spend the life and removes the darknesses into the light and this is a great rahma on rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and alhamdulillah ala ni'matil islam all the praises and thanks to Allah on this ni'mat, the blessing of Islam and the favor of Islam we are living in. So what why they don't want that any good should be sent down to them? Because due to due to their envy, jealousy, enmity, hatred, uh, grudge, and transgression. Because they were expecting that Rasulullah, the Prophet, should be from their generation. Because this was their expectation. That the Prophet, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa should be from their generation. I mean, Bani Israel. Why he came from Arab? Because this, they were deserving more to have a Prophet from their generation. But he came from Arab, Bani Israel. So this is the enmity and jealousy and envy they have. And they don't want that you spend your life using all these golden rules that remove all the darknesses in, into the light. And alhamd again, alhamdulillah. So we'll go to the next ayah here. A'uzu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Ma nansah min ayatin 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 aw nunsiha na'ti bi khayrin minha Aw misliha Aw misliha alam ta'lam anna allaha ala kulli shayin qadir Ma What nansah we cancel Min from ayatin a sign or a verse or a verse here it is worse because it's talking about the worse. quranic verses or, or nun siha uh, we have forgotten no, no it we, was forgotten no, no, by us no no let us go to the root word to understand this word nun siha nasiya is the root word nasiya yansa nasiya mean if he, he forget nasiya yansa what is ansa he made, made somebody, somebody to forget so what is yunsi he we makes somebody to forget. Nunsi, we, we make it to forget. We cause it to we forget. We cause it to, to be forget. forget. And this was just Nunsi. Nunsi. So this nunsi. is the hard derivative. Ansa, Yunsi. Ansa. Which is Agna, Yugni, and Igna. Nasiya, he case. forgot. Nasiya, he forgot. Yeah, Ansa, okay. he made somebody to forget. Okay. We cause it Nebula. to be forgotten. Naati. Aati. We bring. We come. We come. come. Naati B. <coughs> Naati B. Then okay. it will naati come. We bring. We come. We hire better. Minha. Then it, aw ar, misliha, similar to it, alam, don't, ta'alam. Ah, 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 is a question mark. Ah, question mark, lam ta'alam. Lam is did not. Lam did it's not, ta'alam, you know, anna, that, Allah, Allah, ala, over, kulli shayin, everything, qadir, all powerful. Uh, we whatever. cancel. Whatever, ma, whatever. Whatever we cancel of a verse or we cause it to be forgotten. Yeah. We bring better than it or similar to it. Don't you know that Allah is all powerful over everything? Very good, mashallah. Powerful and capable over everything. Very good. So we can go to the next ayah, then we'll talk about <coughs> this. So next ayah is connected to the first one here. Fine. So ayah 107, uh, Brother Fahim. Alam ta'alam anna allaha ala lahu ma mulku samawati wal ardi wa ma lakum min dunillahi min walin wala nasir And the translation I have here says Do you not know that the dominion of the heavens and the earth belong to Allah? Besides him you have no protecting friend nor any helpers so yeah so we we uh, what by what yeah. shall we do what by what yeah, okay. you can okay. you can do it ah question mark lam not ta'lam you know anna that allah allah lahu for him mulku the kingdom 
Kingdom Asamavati of the skies wa and al ardi the earth wa and ma not lakum for you all min min duni other than Allahi Allah min from waliyin protector wa and la not nasir uh, helper don't you know that Allah <coughs> <coughs> Allah is the kingdom of the, the kingdom the of, kingdom of the heavens skies and the earth, and is, the for earth is for Allah only for him only for, for him, him. The don't you know that the kingdom of the heavens and the earth is only for him don't you know that Allah eh? and then. not for you all no no and not uh, for other than Allah there is no protector mm -hmm. there is no protector or any helper other than Allah for you all. for you all good good so the word uh, nansakh is important here to understand the root the, 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 the root word of first word is nasakha yansakhu nasakha yansakhu and masdar is nasakh we also call it nusukh and we also use the word nuskha nuskha ek nuskha mere liye bhi bana le nuskha is actually copy, copy of something you take a book for photocopy and uh, uh, create another book from there to copy it this is a nuskha of another book mm -hmm. so so to create a new book from the original book is a nuskha here a prescription nuskha and here in in quran as far as quran is concerned uh, nasakh it mean to change to cancel or to abrogate this is the word here in the quran so nasakh we we cancel or we abrogate or we change nunsia we already explained it so this is about nasakh is a very important topic here because this again related to the Jews and Christians because they they uh, they objected to this cancellation and changing one ayah and replacing another ayah and even removing an ayah from the Quran and removing the ayah from the heart of the Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so there are three cases of this nasakh cancellation or abrogation the first one is that oh, Allah bringing a new order in the form of an ayah and the existing ayah is there in the Quran for tilawa but, but the order is invalid because it's changed with another ayah in coming coming next. So the first ayah is there in the Quran for tilawa purpose only. So the, the, the but the ruling is invalid because another ayah. This is the this is the first kind of nasakh. For example, uh, initially in the, in in the first initial period of the Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, there is an, an ayah. Ya yuhaladin amanu la taqrabu la taq la taqrabu salata wa antum sukara. O believers, don't go near prayer when you are while you are in the state of unconsciousness due to wine drinking wine so wine was not haram at that time but later on another ayah came uh, replacing this ayah which says that innama harrama alaykum al maytata wad dama wa lakhma al khinzir wa ma ula so indeed all these things are innama harrama in innama al khamru wal maysir innama al khamru wal maysir wal ansab wal az wal azlam ridsum min amal al shaytan fajtanibuhu la'allakum tattaqun so uh, for sure this wine gambling uh, worshiping idols and using these arrows to to find the fortune of a person they are all filth dirty things and from are from the actions of shaytan fajtanibuhu so you avoid them and save yourself from them so, so you may become pious. Mm. So this ayah is replaced by this ayah. So this is the first kind of nasr. The second kind of nasr is that Allah completely removed the ayah from the Quran is not there for tilawa and also the ruling is not valid. Which means that Quran was not there at the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It was memorized in the heart of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Jibril alayhi salam was putting the Quran in the heart of. So that ayah is removed from the heart of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Is not there for tilawa and the ruling is invalid. For example, some sahaba, companion of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam memorized the surah and tried to recite it in the fajr prayer they tried a lot strive a lot but they were not able to recall the surah they were not able to read so what they did second day they, they, they went to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi and asked him that we memorize surah and we forgot it entirely we tried to recall in the prayer we were not able to recall it so what he said no worries because this ayah has been removed from my heart so this is second is not there for tilawa is removed completely and and the third one third type of nus is that uh, the ayah is removed from the Quran 
is not for tilawa but order is still valid but that is not part of the quran that was the part of the quran for example there is an ayah mentioned in the hadith that ash shaykh wa shaykhatu idha zayana farjumuha albatta that a, a married person a married man a married woman when they commit zina and do illegal sexual intercourse you you stone them albatta albatta is the word in urdu albatta mean yaqinan for sure you have to stone them so this was a aya part of the quran but it has been removed from the quran for not not recited but the order is still there for for stoning this this person the zani person as a uh, male or female so why is coming here because these jews they objected these nasakh in the quran that why allah is removing some of the ayah sometime it is removed entirely from the heart of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam what is that we don't believe in quran because nasakh we don't believe in nasakh why it is there so it is said that allah is the kingdom of the whole all the skies and the world he he can do whatever he wants right he can bring a strong ayah replacing a, a, a weak ayah or or lighter ayah he can he can replace a lighter ayah with a strong ayah he can make halal to haram he can make haram to halal but based on the logic and the philosophy behind that because allah knows he is the perfect he is the perfect he doesn't have any fault or error so he knows what to do so this objection is invalid so we can go to the next so this slide. nasakh is decided by prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam rasulullah allah allah, allah kareem allah kareem no no who told us that this aya is rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam because he's he's in between us between yeah. allah and him so everything so is so we find find the hadith of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam for every aya that we say it is yeah, true yeah but in the quran the aya is there this is very clear wala taqrabu salaa wa antum sukara inna al khamr my question is that's okay my yeah. question is yeah. for every mansukh aya is there in the hadith is it uh, is it uh, proved from the hadith of yes. rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam yes or the ulama had just said no, that no 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 it is it is some of the aya they prove and some of the scholars they said because this aya is already there That's so this I'm is asking. replacing yeah some is some it of them scholars are asking no, some, of, is, s- some of them are already in hadith i told you this as shaykh wa shaykhatu idha zana ya farjumuha albatta this is in the hadith right mm-hmm. the other ayas they are as i said this this is very clear to us because scholars, the founder of the quran or founder upon the quran for example wala taqrabu as-salah wa antum sukara what does it mean don't go to near prayer when you unconscious after drinking wine so everybody understand if you but, put uh, but they did not remove from quran i is all already there in the tilawah yeah the yeah. question is still is that uh, if it is if uh, the proof is provided in the hadith yeah. it's okay that we can okay. say yeah for example if the this if some scholar is saying that this is mansukh because of this no, there are that. different op- opinions yeah. there are different opinions we have to we have, have to be very yeah. careful about for example sham waliullah was able to find five mansukh nasikh yeah. and mansukh right yeah. so they they did a research on everything but some of the things that this ayah is very clear for yeah, example yeah. so is already mentioned in the hadith yeah we can go to the next ayah أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أم تريدون أن تسألوا رسولكم كما سئل موسى من قبل ومن يتبدل الكفر ومن يتبدل الكفر بالإيمان فقد ضل سواء السبيل أم do you It's, it's, you question is not here. It's a question. To read, do you do you want? And this alu that you ask question, Rasulakum to your prophet to your Rasul, kama su ila the way was questioned Musa min qabl before, wa man yatabdal al kufra and whoever wa man and whoever yatabda um, exchange or uh, whoever exchanges kufra. the uh, disbelief bil iman for belief faqad dalla indin he has uh, strayed uh, sawa as-sabil from the right path do you want to ask question to your prophet the way musa was asked question before and whoever exchange disbelief for belief indeed he has a strayed from the right path right right so asking questions for transgression or for curiosity was discouraged here for companion of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that don't ask question it was it was not encouraged questions because there are problems asking questions right uh, for example it is mentioned one of the su- one of the ayah in surah an-nisa wala tas'alu an ashya in tubdalakum tasukum and don't ask question about the thing if they are de- declared or disclosed 
you will feel bad. It, it will look bad to you, right? وَإِن تَسْعَلُوا عَنْهَا حِينَ تُنَزَّلُ الْقُرْآنَ تُبْدَ لَكُمْ And if you ask questions about the things at the time when the Quran is being revealed, they will be disclosed on you, they will be declared to you, and it will be very difficult to you for, to follow them, right? To act upon them. So you have to be very careful. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, the bigger criminal in Muslims is the one who asks question about a thing that is not haram. But it became haram after his question. It's not allowed. So when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam informed the people, his companions, radiallahu ta'ala anhum, that the hajj is prescribed on you. So somebody asked from the audience that, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, every year? He did not answer this question. So he, uh, the person asked question again. So he kept quiet. The person repeated his question third time. Then Rasulullah sallallahu replied that not every year. So had had you asked, had I, I disclosed it to you, then this this would have become obligatory for you every year. Mm -hmm. So don't ask question. Don't ask about it. Uh, don't ask question about a thing that I, I did not tell you until I, I tell you. So don't ask question about anything until I tell you. Because the people before you were destroyed due to the bad habit of asking questions frequently. Right? So when I order you something, do it according to your capacity. But if I for forbid you, stop doing it. So this is, this is the ruling here that they should not ask questions. Uh, so the people before you, they ask questions, right? And later on, what happened? They become disbeliever of these things and they were destroyed. As they said, Musa alayhi salam, Yes, aluka ahlul kitabi an tunazila alayim kitaba min as samai. These Jews, the, uh, people of the book, they are asking questions. They are asking you to, to send down a book on them from the sky. Faqad uh, sa'alu Musa akbaru min dhalika. And they ask Musa alayhi salam bigger than these, bigger questions than these questions. And then what happened? Uh, and, and they said, show us, show us Allah openly. And what happened? And they were seized. They were caught by the lightning due to their injustice. So people, it is mentioned here that Musa was asked ask questions bigger than this mentioned here. So they should not ask questions. And sometimes asking too many questions is not good. Yeah, so just against the manner, yeah. yeah. Just one comment regarding the previous uh, <coughs> uh, You know, everything we think that it's clear what is part, what is not part. The moment you start to study higher books, you'll realize that every comment has multiple opinions yeah. even the quran you know seven huruf quran was descended right where are they the now it's quran written only one format mm -hmm. right there are 10 karats and there are lots of uh, not co opinions about like if i read one book that will say that the rest of the six was t taken out only one remaining other scholar mm -hmm. doesn't agree with that yeah. so uh, having a picture that only this and hadith came and yeah. this is the only thing totally not true and everything there are 10 opinions yeah. and if you go a little bit higher you'll realize that everything we do there are 10 opinions yeah yeah, yeah that is a discussion but yeah. here the lesson the yeah. message for us yeah. that yeah. we have to believe in Nasakhir yeah yeah, 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 no, yeah we cannot course. reject no, no, yeah. as these Jews and people yeah. of the book oh, used to yeah. reject them yeah, this yeah. is the real message for yes, us yes 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 yeah. Yeah. Yardunakum mimba the imanicum Kufaran Hasadam min in the unfusim mimba the ma Tabayana Lahumul Hak Fahu was Fahu Hatta Yati Yellahu be Amri in Allah Allah Kulisha in Kadir. What the love? Like, but the, wish, wish, yeah, he wish. loved, he liked, wish. he wished. Kasiram, a large many many men from ahli peoples of al kitab people of book. Now if yaradu na kum, you wishes they they they. No, this is radda yaradu. Radda mean reject, return, oh, radda. turn. Yaradu na they turn. 
so they return turn. they rejected they they, they turn we rejected yeah 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 rud ya faalu rudd rudd he returned he returned ya ruddu na they return or they turn they reject they reject you all mm-hmm. mean from bad ya kar imanikum uh, after believing your belief your belief kufaran disbelief in disbelief in, in disbelief asadan in jealous mean from in the near and possess him their their yes. uh, your their self their selves are their hearts mean by the mean from by the after ma what tabayana yes. made clear it you know it became clear it became clear. bayana he made it clear right and tabayana it became clear became by itself clear. Yeah. what became clear lahum for them al haq truth fa fu so forgive and wasfahu this uh, wasfahu see what is wasfahu what is this what is this safa okay. what are you doing you are ignoring the page ignoring and going anything. you are just overlooking Far or ignoring it and going to the next page this safa is is this safa is page ignoring. is derived safa yes fahu so safa page yes. to turn the page mean just to look ignore. over or to ignore ignore ignore. Just, ignore just ignore and go to the next so page forgive and this second in punjabi we say agla safa preto i don't know you ignore. understand it or no agla safa preto ji hatta until aage chale ya tiya came to he comes he come allah allah with be with amr order inna indeed allah allah ala upon kulli everything every shine thing kadir all power powerful most of many many of the many not most most is aksaru aksaru is most many of the people of the book many of the people of the book wishes wanted it wanted wanted if 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 they they turn you turn you turn you turn you from uh, after uh, they believe their, you their belief the, if they, they turn you to what turn you to kufar, kufar. in kufr turn you in, kufr. in disbelief after, after you believe after your belief very good uh, in jealous due to due to jealous jealousy due to jealousy or envy in the their uh, their self from their self from their self from after what it after. became clear uh, for them the truth so ag- uh, forgive and ignore until uh, allah sent the uh, brings uh, yati bi yati he comes yati bi he brings allah bring the order his order allah brings his his order indeed allah upon everything all powers all powerful and powerful. capable mashallah indeed very good mashallah very good uh, yeah so again the same topic is here right they want they don't want to see you in this state because as i said before alhamdulillah ala ni'matil islam all the darkness are, are removed from this islam right and turn into the light they don't want that they do they want always want destruction for you not due to why why they do that jealousy. due to jealousy envy as i say enmity eh? hatred and, uh, and transgression that they were expecting that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam should come to, in their generation right why he came from bani israel this is the jealousy said so they don't believe they they want you to turn back to your religion to your forefather and it is said mim ba'd ma tabayyana law mulaq after it became after the truth became clear to them how the truth became clear to them it is already they are the people who know the most because as as we discussed before alladhina ya'rifuna hu kama ya'rifuna abna'um the pe- these the people of the book they know him recognize him rasulullah as they know their sons right and again it is said yajiduna hu maktuban indahum fi at-tawrat wal injil they they find him written and mentioned with themselves in tawrat and in injil right they already said and also also what happened wa kanu min qablu yastaftihuna ala alladhina kafaru and they used to make dua ya allah oh allah sent rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so that we join him and fight against these mushrikeen right and they used to tell them that look 
a messenger, Rasulullah, whose name is Muhammad or Ahmad, is coming and will join him and fight against you. See, they themselves, they, they were actually uh, uh, claiming that he's coming and will fight against you. And later on, Ma'az bin Jabal used to make them recall these statements that you are the people you used to, used to say that Rasulullah will come, will join him and fight against. Where are your state? Where are those statements? So they already knew that he, he is the real. And all these things actually, the attributes, properties, and the characteristics of Rasulullah were described in Torah and Injil. So, So when he came, that they already recognized him, they disbelieve in him. So the curse of Allah be on these disbelievers. They already know about him, everything they know. They know more than anybody. But still, despite of all these facts, they disbelieve in him. So what? So this is their enmity, and they always hated enmity, created problems. And what he said, "Fafu," and this is the order for Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the companion of Rasulullah. "Fafu, wasfahu, fafu, forgive them, wasfahu, ignore them, until Allah brings His order." It means that something is coming. Some another ayah is coming that you have to wait until Allah sends another order against them. So then order came actually. And what is the order? In Surah At-Tawbah, Ayah 29. لا يؤمنون بالله ولا باليوم الآخر ولا يحرمون ما حرم الله ورسوله ولا يدينون دين الحق من الذين أوتوا الكتاب حتى, حتى يعطوا جزية, جزية عن يد Right? And so they, this order is there already that they have to pay jizya so fight fight with those who don't believe in allah and nor in the hereafter and they don't consider haram what allah and his messenger has prohibited and made it haram and they don't recognize the religion of the truth from the people of the book these book these people so what to do so so you have to fight with until hatta yu'tul jizya ta'ayyadin until they give jizya they pay tax with their hands while they they feel they they are in the state of humiliation and disgrace they have to pay tax so this is the ayah that now you have to fight against them in the khaybar and also these people living in jizan at the same time right you have to fight them with them until they accept your state the islamic state then they have to pay this jizya and tax and then it is the responsi responsibility of the Islamic State to take care of their wealth, health and their honor. But they have to live under your ruling, under the state of Islamic State and in the state of humiliation and disgrace. And they did it. Actually, these, these Christians of Jizan, they accepted that do whatever you want. So they do whatever you want. So then Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam appointed Ubaidah bin Jarrah in, and he sent with them to Jizan to take tax from them. So they were obliged to pay tax every year and they were under the control of Islamic State. So this is the ayah again we say that this order wafu and wasfahu, right? Uh, forgive them and ignore them until Allah brings another order. So order came. So what is this? This is again a nas that this ayah is replaced by that ayah now that now you have to fight against them you have to hard on them and then you have to take tax and jizya from them and they have to live in the state of humiliation and disgrace but before they said no ignore them so this is uh, this is an example of another example of so nasuh. this ayah is nasuh mansuh now no no the part of fahfu was fahu now now don't forgive them and don't ignore them now you have to fight with them and what happened in khaybar and and uh, Jizan, actually, we have to study these Sirat Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to understand Quran. Actually, but that Quran, has people say that just for that uh, that that purpose that that, 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 purpose. that purpose. No, purpose. this is not general. Actually, in the context of that ayah, talking about these Jews are not the general public and other people. So we should fight now Jews with Jews. Not for that time. If that so what, what ayah is, is valid mm -hmm. now, so now we should fight with Jews or what? This is this part is mansuh. What should we do now? Sheikh. <laughs> you know, Alhamdulillah, you know, we are here to get our overall guidance from yeah. Quran. We are not here to derive fiqh from Quran. This is what yeah, I say all the time. Yeah. But we have a we strong should. belief at the same yeah. time, I'm yeah. telling you. <laughs> I was talking about this mubahala, the ayah mubahala, that <laughs> Rasulullah Sallam invited them that come and let us let us call our our sons your sons, our men, and your women, ourselves, and yourself, and make dua, Ya Allah, 
Ya Allah, give death to one of us who is liar. And they rejected this proposal because they knew that they are liar. They knew that. Yeah. So this is the logic behind that. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said at the end of the, this word that a stone will inviting you to come that a Jew is hiding behind me and kill this guy. You will not find a single Jew. And I also it is mentioned in Hadith Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said if they would have agreed to this proposal to make dua then you will see that every Jew will die. You will not see a single Jew on the space of the earth, on the face of the earth. They have to go. This is reality by the way at the end of the day. Whether they believe or they Isha don't believe. Yeah, Isa alayhi salam has to come. So what I have, I have, a, I have an, uh, for myself advice, this myself we have to read actually. We have to read the seerah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And Quran, by the way, Quran itself is a tafsir for Quran. Hadith is a tafsir because Abdullah, Abdullah bin Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu was a great mufassar. He was explaining Quran because he lived all the time with Rasulullah so he, he taught him, right? So we have to look at the seerah, hadith, and at the same time, Quran itself, we understand what is going on. الكتاب تلاوتي, and they recite the book as it deserves for reciting. And how it deserves for reciting? We have to understand it, we have to read it, we have to understand it, we have to ponder upon it, and we have to take lessons from it, we have to apply it in the real world, and we have to convey the message of this book to other people in the world. Understand? This is kama haqqa tilawati, this is the right word how this book deserved to be recited. This is important to you. So we can go to Inshallah. the next slide. Yeah. Hundred or ten, your verse. So what? this is uh, oh, just okay. a comment about this uh, ayah. No? So it is a long ayah for translation. Yeah. Uh, there are actually three outside doers in this. No? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. For, uh, mm -hmm. for uh, yeah, grammar. uh, mm -hmm. grammatically to translate it in a better way. So Vada has the outside door of Kasirum min Ahlil Kitab. Or uh, Tabayana has an outside door of Al Hakku. Mm -hmm. Similarly, Yaati mm -hmm. has an outside door of Allah. Allahu. Mm -hmm. Allah. So if you yes. go into that yeah. order, it makes easy na, during translation. Yes, yeah. But I'm ignoring that part of the. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the extent. Uh, should we explain these things here in the class or not? <laughs> so this is another topic. If you go into the detail of Sarf and Naab, mm -hmm. This need another class actually. That is what you decided that we have to complete these two pages. Otherwise, we have to. Yeah, Zakula Khairan, very good point here. Yeah. That we have to look for the outside door to translate it properly. So the knowledge of Sarf and Nahav is needed to understand the Quran at the same, same time as I said before. The Seerah for Rasulullah, sallam, the Hadith, and also the Quran itself is a tafsir for Quran. There are different ayahs, cross references are there in the Quran to understand it. So, anyway, Zakula Khairan. We, we can go to the next ayah. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة وآت الزكاة وما تقدموا لأنفسكم من خير تجده عند الله إن الله بما تعملون بصير. and and pray the prayer and perform the prayer and speech give zakah give zakah and whatever you're going to and whatever you're going to send ahead for yourself mean khair from the good deeds you will find it with Allah Taala. in in uh, undoubtedly indeed Allah Taala know knows what you're doing hmm. what you have been doing no, Basir. 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 All seers is a specify here. We see continuously. Allah sees what you have been doing. Yeah, very good. Very good. And this is connected to the word that wasfahu, fahu, wasfahu. Hatta yati Allahu biyamri. At the same time, waqimu salat wa tu zakah. The great power of salah, and you have to give zakah. Keep, keep, keep establishing prayer and giving zakah, and whatever you will send forth any good you will find it with Allah so these are these this ayah is connected to the previous ayah that forgive them and ignore them at the same time be careful you have to keep praying and giving zakah and don't worry whatever you will send Allah knows what you are Allah is all seer of what you are doing you are good you are not you are in the right uh, right position right location and right status right condition don't worry about them you will find everything inshallah. So wait until Allah brings another order for these people.
We can go to the next ayah. Zakun akhiran. وَقَالُوا لَمْ يَدْخُلُوا يَدْخُلَا قُلَ الْجَنَّةَ إِلَّا مَنْ كَانَ هُودًا أَوْ نَسَارًا تِلْكَ أَمَا نِيَّتُمْ نِيَّهُمْ نِيَّهُمْ قُلْ هَاتُوا بَرْحَانَكُمْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ Word by word is difficult. But no problem, no problem. It's okay. <laughs> so uh, you can read it and if you have translation. Zakun Akhiran, Brother Aziz. And they said, none shall enter paradise unless unless he be Jews, he he be a Jews or Christian. Or a Christian. There, there are their own <coughs> desire. Say, O Muhammad, peace be upon him. Produce your proof if you are truthful. Truthful. Yeah, we discussed this ayah before. So shall we go for word by word? Yeah. Wa and qalu. They said, "Lan never yadkhula." He enters, or he will enter. Al jannata, the paradise. Illa except man who kana he was who then Jews or Nasar or Nasara Christian. Tilka. That for she amani yuhum their wishful thinking. Kul say ha tu you all bring burhanakum your proof in if kuntum you all were swadiki truthful. And they said he will never enter Jannah except the one who is Jew or Christian. That is their wishful thinking. Say you all bring your proof. If you are truthful, so tilka amaniyu. These are their desires, yeah. right? Amaniyu Amani is plural of am umniya. Yeah. So tilka is used for broken plural, Amani, which is yeah. third person singular feminine gender. Yeah. For broken plural. Zakun akhiran. We have discussed this ayah before as well because we referred this ayah to understand the previous mm. ayah and this. So see, they, they, they claim that the the that jannah is for them. They will enter. Nobody will ever uh, will ever enter in jannah. Except Jew or a Christian, so these are their false desire. If they are true, tell them, as you said, Rasulullah Sallam asked them if they have any proofs. So, it is said in the Qul Qul In Kanat Lakum Udaru Lakhiratu Inda Allahi Khalisa Tam Min Dooni Nasi Fatamanna Bul Mauta In Kuntun Sadaq. You read this ayah that ask them if the house of hereafter is with Allah is exclusively for them, other than other than the people, then then ask them. They should wish for the death. If they are truthful, and it is said, "Walain yatamanna hu abadam bima qadamat aydihim." Wallahu alimun bidwalimin. They will never ever wish for the death because of the actions they have done, because they know they are liar. They are. That is why Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم asked them, "Mubahala." They 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 send a proposal that come, come, and get together and make du'a. Oh Allah, whoever among us, both of us, is a liar, should die. Give him death. They rejected this because they knew that they are liar. So they never, they will never wish. This is the proof here that they are lying. This is an argument of Rasulullah Sallam. Allah actually guided him to to ask them this. That if it is for them exclusively, they should they should desire for that. They never did it. They knew that they will die, and no Jew will be there left over on the face of the earth. They knew. They have a strong belief. In fact, they have a strong belief in Akhira, in Rasulullah, in the Book and Quran. Despite of all these facts, they never believed in it. Due to hasadam in and the anfusim, due to the jealousy and envy within their hearts, they never believe in it. This is said here, and it is said in Surah Al-Jumma: "Qul ya yu al-ladin hadu in zamtum anna kum awliyahu lillahi min dun al-nasi fatamun nabul mauta in kuntum swadqin." Wala ya taman is changed. The, the words are changed. Wala is changed. Wala wala ya taman nau nahu abadam bimaqad damatayidin. Wallahu alimum bizzalim. That ask them, O oh Jews, if you your claim is right, that you claim that you are friend of Allah, other exclusively other than the people, then wish for the death. They will never do that because they are liars. They are lying. They will never do it. So we can go to the next ayah. Bismillah min al-Shaytan al-Rajim. Bismillah al-Rahman al-Rahim. Bala man aslama wajhahu lillahi wa huwa muhsinun falahu ajruhu inda rabbi 
وَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ بَلَا Yes, or rather, Man who aslama, he submitted. Wajahu, his face. Lillahi, for Allah. Wa an huwa hi muhsinun, the one who does at most good. Falahu, then for him, ajruhu, his reward. In the near Rabbihi, his Lord. Wa an la nad khawfun, fear alayhim upon them. Wa an la nad hum, they yahzanun, they will worry. They will worry, they will grief, grief. Yes, whoever submits his face to Allah and he is the utmost good doer, then for him is the reward near his Lord. And there is no fear upon them and they will not grieve. Bala is the answer of a question. Bala or Naam? Bala. So they are claiming that Jannah paradise is only for them. They say, they say it separately actually. The Jews say it is for us, Jannah. And these Christians, they say Jannah is for us. They don't together, they don't, they are not together. They don't believe in each other by the way, let me tell you. It's coming actually in the next hour. That the criteria to go to Jannah, they are claiming Jannah is for them. The crit there are two criteria to go to Jannah. The first one is Man aslama wajhahu lillahi. The one who submit his face to Allah, which means that he did uh, an action, means amal salih he did an action or a deed, sincerely for the sake and pleasure of Allah, the first condition. The action we do should be for the sake and pleasure of Allah. The second criteria for the acceptance of any deed is that that action should be done according to the sunnah of, this is, wa huwa muqsinun. While he is a good doer means he is doing that action based on the sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The way Rasulullah Sallallahu did an action or the way Rasulullah Sallallahu told us to do. So if we cross these limits, for example, we, we do. We do an action with sincerity for the sake and pleasure of Allah. But the second condition is not met that we don't do that action according to the sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The way he told us to do, if we are not doing, this is bid'ah. Innovation in Islam. What is an Kullu muhdasatin bid'a wa kullu bid'atin dalala wa kullu dalalatin fin. So this is the end of this bid'a. So it's, it's prohibited to create new things. They Apparently they look fascinating, but is not allowed if the action is not according to the sunnah of Rasulullah. So two, two criteria here very important that if we do some action, any deed, there should be near that I am doing this action or deed sincerely for the sake and pleasure of Allah. And I should know, I should have the way in my mind that I have to do this action according to the sunnah of Rasulullah. Right? Otherwise it is bidda. Now, if somebody is doing an action, he, ha he his intention is to get some worldly benefit or to show off the people. He's not. This is a sign of munafiqeen. Inna al-munafiqeen yukhadi'oon Allah wa huwa khadi'oon. Indeed, the hypocrites, they deceive, they try to deceive themselves and Allah deceives them. Right? وَإِذَا قَامُوا إِلَى الصَّلَاةِ قَامُوا قُسَالَةِ When they stand in the prayer, they stand in the, at the state of Laziness and lethargy. Yura'una nasa. They they show the people. Wala yadkurun Allah illa qalila. They don't remember Allah in the prayer. They don't know what they are saying. They don't remember Allah. They don't mention Allah in the prayer. Illa qalila, but very little. See, you are forgetting the things when you stand. When we stand in the prayer, we forget. We we actually slip towards some somewhere else. Then we come back. Wala yadkurun Allah illa qalila. They don't remember Allah except a very little. So yura'una nasa. فَوَيْلٌ لِلْمُسَلِّينَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ سَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ يُرَاهُونَ They pray with the intention that they show off people. People should see that he is very strong, functional in the Muslim. May Allah save us. And we should do an action sincerely for the sake and pleasure of Allah and it should be according to the sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu This is the basic criteria, two criteria to enter into Jannah. That action or deed will be acceptable before Allah and there is a great reward near Allah for this and there will be no khawf in the hereafter. Khawf is for the hereafter and huzn is in, the, in, in, in this dunya that you will be satisfied. If you follow these two criteria, you will be very satisfied because Allah bi dhikrillahi tatma inul qulub. That with the mentioning of Allah, your hearts are satisfied. Once your hearts are satisfied, you get sakina, peace, tranquility, happiness, content and all these things are there. What do you want? Everything is with you. So this is the ultimate success for a person to go to Jannah. We can go to the next ayah. وَقَالَتِ الْيَهُودُ لَيْسَتِ النَّسَارَى 
அலாஷின் வக்காலத்தின் நிசார் அலேசத்தில் யஹூதோ அலாஷின் வஹும் யத்லூனல் கிதாபா கசாலிக கால லசீன அலா யாலமூன மிஸ்ல கோலிஹிம் வல்லாஹு யா குமுபேனஹும் யோ மல்கியா மத் ஃபீமா கானு ஃபீஹே யஃத்லிஃபூன் வக்காலத்துல் யஹூதோ யூத் சேட் யூத் சேட் லேசத்துல் நசாரா not like nasara less nasara is not oh. any christians are not yes nasara they not, not nasara ala shayan on everything wakala anything on everything anything anything ala shayan anything wakala tin nasara or christian they said laysat al yahud not like yahud ala shayan everything on anything on anything wa hum yatlun al kitaba aur hum they yatlun al kitaba they recite the book kazalika manid like kal lazina la yalamuna misl qaulihim kal lazina they said la yalamuna we don't know they don't know they don't know misl qaulihim like them like other like their word like their word. similar to their word yes fallahu ya kum bainahum so allah will judge allah will judge bainahum yawm al qiyama between them during the 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 day of judgment the day of the resurrection fi ma kanu fi hai yakhtalifun un mein se in what they used to disagree in ikhtilaf jisme wo ikhtilaf kiya karte the yeah so shall we do word by word or it's okay just do wa you can do dr khalid wa an qalat she said she is al yahud is a tribe or a nation al yahud yahud laysat she is not an nasara the christian ala upon chain anything wa and qalat she said an nasara the christian laysat she is not al yahud the jews ala upon chain anything wa while whom they yatluna they recite al kitab the book kadhalika similarly qala he said الذين دوزو لا يعلمون they don't know مثل قولهم similar to their word ف so الله والله يحكم he will judge بينهم between them يوم القيامة on the day of resurrection في ما in what كانوا they were في in it يختلفون they disagree or they will disagree will combine and the Jews said Nasara or Christians are not on anything and Nasara said the Jews are not on anything while they both of them while they recite the book similarly those who don't know mean mushrikeen they said similar to their words so allah will judge between them on the day of resurrection in what they used to disagree in yahud and nasara see they 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 don't believe each other ya wa hum yatlun al kitab asi yahud they recite tawra tawra and tawra certifies musa alayhi salam uh, isa alayhi salam and injil despite of this fact these jew they don't believe in isa ali salam and in jeel uh, on the contrast again uh, let us look at christians they recite in jeel and in jeel itself certifies the tawra and musa ali salam despite of this fact they don't believe in musa ali salam and in jeel and they said they are nothing they are nothing right so and similarly those who don't know these are mushrikeen of arab mushrikeen disbelievers polytheists pagans idolaters disbelievers in the one of farna they, they say the similar words what they say rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is sabi they said sabi mean he has no religion Ras- mm-hmm. nauz billah they said rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has no religion he is sabi swadli saw by up by akasrabi he is sabi he has no religion means he was on the religion of our forefathers before he left the religion and he is at no religion this is not a religion he is sabi but allah he said allah will judge between them who is on the right path on the day of judgment between everything they don't so we can go to the next ayah bismillahirrahmanirrahim how much time we are left with 10 minutes oh, we are okay i guess 
وَمَنْ أَزْلَمُ مِمَّنْ مَنَعَ مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ أَنْ يُذْكِرَ فِيهَا يُذْكِرَ فِيهَا فِيهَا اسْمُهُ وَسَعَ فِي خَرَابِهَا أُولَئِكَ مَا كَانَ لَهُمْ أَنْ يَدْخُلُوهَا إِلَّا خَائِفِينَ لَهُمْ فِي الدُّنْيَا خِزْيٌ وَلَهُمْ فِي الْآخِرَةِ عَذَابٌ عَظِيمٌ ومن و اینڈ من ہو ازلم مور ان جسٹ مور ان جسٹ مم من فرام ہو من من از دین فرسٹ من از دین بیکاز مور ان جسٹ از ناؤ اس میں تفدیل سو من از یوز ہیئر دین کمپیر یو آر کمپیرنگ ہو از مور ان جسٹ دین سو من از دین من 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 ہو من آہی فر بیٹ مساجد اللہ دا ہاؤس آف اللہ دا ماسک آف اللہ ان دیٹ یوز کرا ہی ریمیمبر ہی ایز منشنڈ اور ہی ایز ریمیمبر دس ایز پیسی وائز ید کرو ہی ریمیمبر اور ہی منشن ید کرو ہی ایز منشنڈ اور ہی ایز دس ایز پیسی وائز فعل مجھول فیہا فیہا ان ایٹ ان ار ان ہر 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 اوکی Later on we say in them, this is broken plural, masajid. Usmuhu. Ismuhu. His name? His name. Ismuhu, not Usmuhu. It is written. Actually, Hasmuhu. Ismuhu, Ismuhu. You said Ismuhu. No, you said Ismuhu or not? I said yes. Okay. Actually, this look like it's page. No, that is not page. That is Hamza Vassal. Actually, this is the sign of Vassal. Swad is there and this Swad in Arabic is a sign of Hamza Vassal or Hamza Tawassul. Yes. خرابی خرابی ان کی خرابی یا اس کی خرابی خرابا یا خروبو خراب اس مصدر یہ خراب اور خرب خرابا یا خروبو یا Ula'ika, these people, those, those, those people, ma, not gonna, uh, he, he was, he, he was, uh, he is, okay, he was, yeah. Lahum for them, on that, yad, yad khulu, yad khulu ha. This is, you can separate this, yad khulu na, noon is dropped here due to one which is namasib, namasib, yad khulu na, they enter or they will enter, enter, ha. In her, later on in them, yeah, masajid. Illa? Illa accept ha'ifin with the fear. Those who fear. And here it could be in the state of fearing because this is maful hal. So they should enter in in what condition, what state. So this is maful hal. Ha'ifin in the state of fearing. And here ha'ifin is plural as ha'if. Ha'fa ya ha'fu. خائف and plural is خائف هم خائفين خوف is مصدر لهم فردم في الدنيا in world in the world or in this world his young rejection humiliation or disgrace زلة زلة humiliation و and لهم فردم في الآخرة في in آخرة In the last or the day of the year after the, the, the last, yeah, you are right. The last. Azabun Azim, uh, the great punishment. Great punishment. This is Sifa Mosuf. Yeah, we can combine together. Uh, and, and who is? And who is uh, more more unjust? Unjust. Then then the one the one who who forbade from from masjid masks of Allah mask of Allah that. Ismu, as Dr. Abdul Khalid mentioned, we have to go to find an outside door with Marfu, Pesh. Ismu, his name. So you can jump to Ismu to come back. That his name should be remembered or mentioned in them. Ha is changed to them because broken plural, the condition is third person singular feminine gender. Pronoun or verb, yeah. And? And Sa. He strove. He strove in. He strove hard in their destruction. Destruction. Yeah. So, unko kharaab karne ki koshish ki ji. Ulaika, those, 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 
it is it is not for them it is 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 kana it is it was not for them it is not for them is it is is kana ma not long okay. for them it is not for them for them and that, that jad, they enter they enter into into them into them except except uh, in the state of fear. fearing yeah they should enter fear. fearing uh, for them uh, in uh, is it for them is it lahum disgrace disgrace or humiliation uh, for Physio. them uh, 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 dissimulation in world disgrace or humiliation them, in this world and for them is what uh, uh, adab nadim uh, great great punishment the in the day after in the year in after very good so this is a general commandment let's say general com- in any masjid if somebody stop people entering into in, in a prayer and stop them from the remembering allah this is very bad is a general command and for every time every location but the background of the ayah we can go back in the islamic history and seerah of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to 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 get more explanation here that when rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam intended to go for umrah with companion of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam one year before the victory of makkah when they reached hudaybiyah they were stopped there were not allowed to enter in masjidul haram and to do umrah in the kaaba tawaf of kaaba right they were stopped there and they did an agreement there which is called sulah hadibiyah peace accord hudaybiyah peace accord that you can come here for umrah after one year right so there were many other conditions in that uh, peace agreement so they what they did in hudaybiyah they stopped them they were not able uh, to go to uh, masjid al haram and do sacrifices so they were stopped there so later on after this peace agreement they went back after sacrificing their animal they were carrying with them right so they were not allowed so they did a very bad thing they stopped them from masjid al haram for praying and mentioning the name of allah for umrah as well so after one year they came back at the time of victory of makkah then what happened rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam illa they should not enter into them except in the state of fearing so after one year according to the hudaybiyah peace accord they came back and they conquered makkah in the form of victory of makkah and rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam announced there that after one year no mushrik is allowed to do hajj in masjid al haram to in to do hajj and perform umrah umrah nakedly they cannot do they stop them so they were disgraced and humiliated after the after the victory of makkah so these ayahs are referring to them and they can also refer to baitul maqdas as well when bakh nasr he attacked these jews joining the the christians and attacked them stop jews from worshiping in baitul maqdas this is a long story yeah. and we can go to the next ayah ولله المشرق والمغرب فاينما تولوا فثم وجه الله ان الله واسع عليم وان لله فر الله المشرق ذا ايست وان المغرب ذا ويست فاسو اينما وير ايفر تولوا يو تيرن فاسو ثم ذير ذير وجه الله the face of Allah إن indeed Allah Allah واسع all wide sufficient عليم all knowledgeable Amen. continuously knowledgeable this is this is his message and for Allah is the east and the west so wherever you turn then there is the face of Allah indeed Allah is all wide all the means all the directions are for him عليم all knowledgeable so this I again Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم used to pray in makkah facing Mas- baitul maqdas right but at the same time kaaba was in front of him but the intention was to face baitul maqdas because the first qibla was there right then what happened after the migration he went to madina he was very sad because he was praying facing baitul maqdas kaaba was not there so he was very sad he was very sad and always he he had a strong wish to for the change of qibla and it is said in surah al baqara in the second part of the quran qad nara taqallub wajhika fi samai falanuwalliyannaka qiblatan tardaha and for sure we we have seen your face turning toward the sky with a wish for the change of qibla so for sure we will turn it to a qibla that you are happy with and he did it what happened wa min khaythu kharajta fa walli wajhaka shatr al masjid al haram masjid al haram so wherever you come out from you turn your face toward masjid al haram so this is 
the order of Allah for changing the Qibla. So came here because he was wishing always looking at the sky with a strong wish to get the Qibla as, as a Qibla to, to, to face toward that. He was very sad and also at the same time companion of Rasulullah so they were sad. Mm -hmm. So Qibla was changed after that. So that is another ayah there actually. So we can... Next one. When we can hear Adhan. وقالوا اتخذ الله ولدا سبحانه بل له ما في السماوات والارض كل له قانتون وقالوا وان قالوا ديسرت اتخذ الله الله تك ولدا اسن سبحان اي ديكلير بيرفكشن هو تو هيم بل نوت نه له فور هيم ما وات في ان السماوات ذا هيفنز والارض and the earth kullun all lahu for him qanitun those who are obedient and they said allah took a son i declare perfection to him not for him rather we say rather rather for for only him. for him or rather only for him what is what is in the heavens and in and the in the earth all are obedient to him well, we can go to the next ayah because he's connected with this ayah mm. another fame badiyu samawat badiyu samawati wal ard wa idha qada amran fa innama yaqulu lahu kun fayaqul translation is the creator of the heavens and the earth when he decides a matter, all he says is, be, and it is. And it is, very good, mashallah. So, uh, in the previous ayah, Qanitun, uh, Qanut, Qanitun is from Qunut. We, we recite, we, we read Qunut in, in the Vitra prayer, right? Qunut. What, what does Qunut mean? Dua Qunut. Obedience. obedience. Because it's a complete obedience of Allah in Dua Qunut. If we ponder upon these words, what we say in the prayer, right? So, Qanitun is from Qunut. Qanata, he was obedient. Qanitun, those who are obedient. Qunut, do I Qunut? Obedient, complete obedience. Okay. Uh, uh, the second word here is Badi. Badi is from Bid'a. What is Bid'a, by the way? Innovation. To create something new in the Sharia or Islam that doesn't exist, right? This is Bid'a. It's not according to the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallam, Bid'a. So, this Badi is from Bid'a. Innovation. What is Badi? Badi is innovator. The person who creates something without any existing design is a badi. Is bida is also you are creating something totally new that doesn't mm -hmm. exist at all. So badi is the creator or innovator who innovates something without any existing design is badi. Okay, so let us say so we did it. Huh? So they said Allah has taken a son, right? Let let us look at some of the ayah in the Quran because as I said. There's a cross reference of different ayah to, to give tafsir or explain different ayah. وَقَالَتِ الْيَهُودُ عُزَيْرٌ إِبْرُ اللَّهِ Yahud, the Jews said that Uzair is son of Allah. وَقَالَتِ النَّصَارَ الْمَسِيحُ إِبْنُ اللَّهِ And the Seed is Christian, they said, Masih Isa is his son. And they went further, they said, Salithu Thalatha, he's the third of, he's the third of all the gods, three gods, he's the third of one. Huh? And later on, these mushrikeen, they also said that all these angels are daughters of Allah. So this is a complete shirk. It is said that Subhanahu, he is above all these statements what they are describing here. They, he is exalted. Subhanahu, he is exalted, pure, perfect from all this. He doesn't need because all the universe he has created with a single word Kun. Right? Oh, inna ma, inna ma amruhu idha arada shayyan. 
an yaqula lahu kun fayakun he when he decides for anything he will only say to this thing kun and it is there so about isa alay salam it is said in the quran mathala isa in the allah ka mathali adam the example of isa alay salam is just like the example of adam alay salam khalaqahu min turab he created him from the dust khalaqahu min turab he created him from the dust right and that's then what he said thumma yaqulu lahu kun fayakun then he said to him kun b fayakun then it is there so he's just like adam alay salam he created it from the dust why you saying is son of allah so it is very clear that subhanahu he is above all these statement they are describing with so he is exalted above all he doesn't need anything subhanallah so is done eh? can we go to the next or finish no, no i think uh, so let us uh, uh, make dua for kafara majlis subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika i will do myself ashhadu my my own ashhadu an la ilaha illallah ashhadu an la ilaha anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika subhanakallah wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk so everybody has this فأترفوا بذنبهم فسكتوا لي